time of Moses, the Lord gave a commandment that there must be a time of release in the midst of the children of Israel. And the prophet of God and ordinances has been given and granted unto him to proclaim that release in the midst of the children of Israel. And once he proclaimed that there is going to be a release, there is always jubilation. Many will gain freedom, many will be promoted. Many will be set loose, debtors will be set free, creditors will tell, will tell them to go away, many things will happen and there will be peace in the land. I can see vividly after this exposition, <laughs> you see the sun again, there will be peace in our lives. Because it's a month of release, it does not matter how long they have delayed you. Let me tell you one thing, delay is not denier. And let me also tell you another thing, the type of person you become will determine the type of attack or adversaries or enemies that you will get. If you are going to be very great in life, your enemies will be great. But that doesn't mean they will defeat you. Because victory belongs to the Lord. They can only torment you and disturb you for a while. And God granted the permission for one reason. Because God, before death, he has boasted about you. He had bragged about you. That you are one of his own. That no matter what they do, you will never leave him. So he allowed them to do whatsoever they like unto you. They shout on your money. They block you from seeing your spouse. They shut your womb. They destroy your businesses. Block all your connections. They made everybody to turn their back against you. They make things to start to fall in disarray. They turn you to become a laughing stock. You, be, you became an object of discussion. Those who are regarded you before never regard you anymore. Those who love you that you love so much are now your enemies. The people you are blessed with, with your sweat that you have raised, they are now chasing you to kill you. God allow all this thing because of a reason. To see who you are. To see whether you can stand. If you are able to stand, the day the Lord declared that there is going to be a release, all those obnoxious things that I've mentioned will be turned to good things. This morning I came with a prophetic voice. Your husband, they said, we will not see you, we we'll see you. The people that loved you before and they have hated you for many years, we come back to apologize to you. Your money that they
they took away. They release it with interest back to you. Your connection that they block. The Lord established gigantic one for you. Place where they have mocked you. You have now become object of surprises to them. Those that you have helped and they no longer help you, they will start to help you. All the association will gather together to fight you. They will no longer fight you. They will start to fight themselves. You that they have closed the door against you. You have knocked and knocked and knocked. You have fasted and fasted and fasted. You no longer need to knock again. The door has opened on its own accord. The fruit of the womb that they said you cannot get. Babies they said you cannot dedicate. Babies are now chasing you. Cars they said you can never ride in your life. The Lord give you fleets of cars. Houses they said you cannot build for many years. The Lord started building skyscraper for you. Initially you wanted to build a two glass, but they delay you and they hinder you. The Lord has converted it to 33, 34 story. Where they hated you, they will now start to embrace you. In the time of release, a prophet must proclaim the release. I stand as one of the prophets of the living God. Go to anywhere and find out. I am one of his prophets. But there is time for everybody. I believe my time has come. I believe your time too has come. I believe our time has come. For so ever happened, the Lord allowed it to see who we are. For the fact that we did not run away from God, He has decided to release it. Many ran now, they, have, they said they don't want to associate with us anymore. In the time of difficulties, it's then you know those who are with you. But the Bible says that all things work at well for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to the purpose. The times of difficulties, those days are gone. The new life has come. The time of release. They must release everything back. Your container will be released. Your businesses will be released. Your connection will be released. Your favor will be released. Your promotion will be released. Your visa will be released. The ticket to travel will be released. Your app will be released. Everything that will make your life to shine again. The Lord release everything unto you. So this morning I declare unto you, it's your morning and your month of prophetic release. Everything that God has designed for you, no matter the people that gather together, no matter the forces or the deity, and they have joined hands together to hinder you. Not that God sleep nor slumber. He just wanted to see the type of person. Whether you are with him or you are not with him. But I congratulate you and I thank God for your life. You are able to stand you are able to show people the type of woman 
that God has made you. You are able to show people the type of man that God has made you. Today is no longer the days of mourning. It's a day of celebration. It's no longer the day of crying. It's a day of jubilation. It's no longer the day of complaining. It's a day of waving hand that thank you, Lord. Because the release you are waiting for, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not fail. You have waited upon him. I'm happy to announce to you, every member of Pure Fire, the hour and the moment you are waiting for, the time of release has come now. The Lord in his infinite mercy, as I'm talking to you right now, in heaven, he has approved our release. Begin to watch your life. Begin to watch the church. Begin to watch the environment. The moment of release. Prophetic release. Your womb will protrude. Twins will come out. Triplet will come out. Somebody is bringing your hand to the front. I will conduct the wedding. You will come to my office. He said, Daddy, bless the key of my new car. You will come to my office and tell me you needed six pastors to go and dedicate your new house. You will come to my office and tell me I'm no longer going to be paying my tithes with money again. I'll be writing checks and it's going to be in foreign currency. You will come to my office. You will carry BP bags and come to this church with tip a trailer load of rice. I say I'm blessing all the members. You will come to my office and you come and declare to me. You say, Daddy, you said it that I'm going to be a trillionaire. Now a trillionaire is standing before you. You will come to my office and tell me that daddy you say I'm going to be a billionaire. Daddy I'm here to tell you I'm a billionaire. I'm paying my tithe in billions. I'm paying my tithe in trillions. You will come to my office and come and tell me Shout release. I can hear you. Let me share one testimony with you. One of my daughters, she's not here, but her mother is here. She always liked to run away from me. Not that she's a sinner, but because of the respect and fear she had for me. Even when she wanted to, was when she wanted to do a wedding, she said, I, I can't stand before that. I would like another person to do the ministration. You know what? One day, our mother came with her to my office. And I said, Listen to me, my daughter. You are going to meet your husband on the so 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 date. Our mother is here. If I'm lying, she will come to the front to testify. When you meet your husband on social dates, you will get married on social dates. <laughs> hey, release is here now. Hey, hey, 
the spirit of God in me we touch you I just want you to understand the significance of what we are doing today many of us here we have been tested by God and many have passed you want to clap for yourself clap for yourself
have been suffered, many have been humiliated, it's over. Once a while, the Lord moved like this. Not frequent. You watch your life today is what? Second of June. Ghana will never be the same again. You will come back and quote me. I don't make noise, but I make news. I don't brag, but I give God the glory. The door has opened. You have suffered. Indeed. It was so tight. Very hard this year. Immediately we shared, we shouted Happy New Year, the wind sees. And everything turned upside down in this country. Go and find out. And people could not understand what was going on again. Some died. Some were frustrated. Some said, I'm not serving God anymore. But they don't know the reason behind this. But now, the door has opened. Wider than the first time. Before we go, the Lord will give us a sign. The God whom we are serving. Even when things were tough, we did not look back. He has decided to relieve now. So tell your neighbor, great things will happen. Thank you.